Hey guys, what is up YouTube? It is me, Allie. I'm here today with a video that is making my heart so incredibly happy. I'm going to be testing out a bunch of different Shark Tank products. Products that were featured on the show Shark Tank. Now, let me just tell you, I am brand new to the Shark Tank game. I know that it's been around for about nine seasons. I only started getting into it about six months ago and I am obsessed. Adam and I watch it pretty much every single night. We watch at least two or three episodes every single night. We cannot get enough of it and I thought that it would be really really fun to test some of the products that I saw on the show here on my channel. I got this idea from Joey Graceffa. He is pretty much the OG of Shark Tank product testing and I will link his channel in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. He does such an amazing job. He's so entertaining to watch and after watching his videos or should I say binging his videos, I was like, I have to do this for myself. It looks like so, so much fun. I'm going to put a link for every single product that I bought for this video in the description below if you guys are interested in checking them out for yourself. And as always, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below and I will try really, really hard to get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Now, without further ado, let's get testing. Guys, I am wicked excited to test out this first product because it is a product that comes from New England and as most of you guys know, I am a New England girl. I'm going to be testing out the Wicked Good Cupcakes from Wicked Good Bake Shop. Now, Wicked Good Bake Shop comes from Boston, Massachusetts and they got their start on Shark Tank and their company basically blew up overnight. They are doing so well and I am so, so happy for them. Being a New England girl, I've never tried these out before. If you are from the Boston area or if you're even close to the Boston area, you can find these in Faneuil Hall in Boston, which is basically like a shopping slash eatery center and they look really, really good. Now on my channel, this is just like a fun little fact. I use this word wicked a lot and I get so many comments from you guys saying did she just use the word wicked and yes i use it all the time wicked is just like a very new england term people who live in new england use the term very very frequently so instead of saying like you did such a good job you would say like oh you did a wicked good job or like that pizza was so good you would say that pizza was wicked good it is just something that we have in our vocabulary and i know that it sounds strange to outsiders but it is just part of our vocabulary i know all different regions have like specific words and that's just like one of our words so i think it's so funny when i read comments being like did she just use the word wicked or i love the way that she says water we just have a very strong new england accent and we have words in our vocabulary that are very specific to our region. So when I saw that their company was called Wicked Good Bake Shop, I got so, so excited. So we're gonna test these out. I bought these on their website because you can't buy these on Amazon. Pretty much everything in this haul is from Amazon. I found it on Amazon, but this one specifically because it is perishable, I had to buy it from their website. They're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. It costs me close to $25 and I only have two cupcake jars in here. That is outrageous. I'm sure if you went to the actual source and bought it right from their shop, it would be a lot cheaper, but because I had to pay for shipping, I had to pay $5 for shipping, and I think their sale on their website was two cupcake mason jars for $20. That's crazy, but you know what? I wanted to support them and I wanted to test it out. If they're really good, money well spent. But if they're not so good, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little disappointed because that's that's like so much money for two cupcake jars. So let's open on up and see what these look like. So first thing that I'm noticing, we have like a little wicked good cupcakes card, and it tells a little bit about their company, and then it says this wicked good gift was sent to you by Allison. I sent it to myself. I don't know why they did this. But yeah, anyways, let's open on up and let's take a look. The packaging is really cute. You have your two mason jars and they even give you two little spoons. That's really cute. So, this is the size of the mason jar. I don't think that these are worth $10 a piece, but whatever. You do not have to refrigerate these, but you do have to eat these within seven days of them arriving at your doorstep. So I got these on Thursday and it is now Sunday. These should still be very, very fresh. The two flavors that I tried out 
is the Vanilla Birthday, which I'm pretty sure is like a Funfetti cupcake. And then I also got the Wicked Good because I assume this must be like their staple cupcake because their company is called Wicked Good Bake Shop. And this one is the Wicked Good. So I'm gonna give you a very quick little pan of what these look like and then we're just gonna test them out. Ooh, so there's frosting all on the top and then it has a bunch of sprinkles. So if you look closely, you have frosting, cake, sprinkles, cake, frosting, sprinkles, cake. So you have lots of layers. Let's see if this is worth $10 a jar. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I don't know if it's ten dollars worth though, but it's really, really good. The buttercream, oh my god, it's delicious. I'm dropping it everywhere right now. But this is actually really, really good. I would probably eat this in about seven to ten scoopfuls. So I'm standing strong by saying this is not worth ten dollars. You do get a mason jar to keep, which is pretty cool, but not worth ten dollars. But still really good. It's actually pretty delicious. Next up, the one that I've been waiting for, the Wicked Good Cupcake. This one looks like it might be a chocolate chip cupcake base, and then it looks like there is a layer of chocolate or Nutella frosting. Then it looks like a tan frosting. It might be a spiced vanilla frosting. And then it also has some chocolate chips throughout the entire mason jar. So let's just open up and see what she has in store. This one has chocolate frosting or Nutella right in the center, a nice little dollop. And then maybe it is just vanilla, I'm not 100% sure. Kinda looks like there might be some peanut butter in here too. I'm gonna try just the frosting first. Peanut butter frosting, oh my gosh. I love chocolate and peanut butter. This is going to be wicked freaking good. I can already tell you right now. I think it is a chocolate chip cupcake with peanut butter and chocolate frosting. Yes, yes, and yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This one is worth $10. I would spend $10 on this again. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's Nutella. I think it is just chocolate with peanut butter and frosting and chocolate chip cupcake. Like, I would actually pay $20 for this. This is really, really good. Yep. Second bite is just as good. Well done, Wicked Good Cupcakes. Well done. So now that we have just devoured all those cupcakes, we're gonna work it off with the Simply Fit board. Guys, when I saw this on their show, I thought that it was the weirdest concept basically i haven't even opened it up yet i'm gonna open it up right here on camera i might need a pair of scissors though when i saw this on the show it was such a weird concept it basically looks like a skateboard mixed with a snowboard you stand on it and then you just kind of like pivot your body like this and it's supposed to work out your core it's supposed to be a fun way to exercise while watching tv Jax is here now because he hears the sound of a box opening and he thinks that it is a toy, or he thinks it is food. It's not for you, Bubby. It's not for you. No, it's not for you. I know. I have to find some Shark Tank items that are made for dogs. If you guys know of any, put them in the comments below because I kind of want to do a Shark Tank tested products for dogs and have Jax in the video. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, this is basically supposed to be a fun way to work out. I watched a bunch of reviews on this. It looks crazy, guys. It looks absolutely crazy, and I can't wait to join the crazy. So I'm gonna open it up. I got a green one. Like, look at this thing. What is this? It looks like this. It's kind of curved in the middle. Jack, you need to stop, Bubby. You need to stop. Please? Thank you. So it looks like this. It has a curve. Your feet are supposed to go over here, and then you're supposed to pivot your body like this while you're watching TV.
Well, that was, um, that was interesting. I would probably give that Simply Fit board like a 7 out of 10 rating. I love the whole science behind it and the whole concept behind it, but I would definitely have to get a lot better with it. And as I always say, practice makes perfect. Along inside of the box with the Simply Fit board, I also got the workout DVD and user guide. So apparently this is like a full body workout tool. It is not just to twist back and forth with. They're showing people doing planks. They're showing people doing lift ups. They're showing people using pretty much every single core muscle in their body. So I'm gonna be testing this out a lot more. I really like the concept and I hope that I can see the results as this female on the front of the DVD. She looks good. <laughs> So we're gonna move on now to a product that is just a little less strenuous to test out. It is the Love Pop card. This is a card that you open up and a 3D image is supposed to be displayed. This was also very, very expensive. I think that this cost me $10 on Amazon, which I guess is not that pricey in the whole realm of cards. Cards are super, super expensive. If you go to like any supermarket or any drugstore or any department store and you buy a card, they're sometimes upwards of like seven, eight or nine dollars and it is just a card. So for $10 to get a 3D image, I guess it's not terribly pricey. I just think anything over like $3 for a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or a piece of cardstock is insane. But again, people pay that kind of money for cards. So this is the Love Pop, the only gift you send in an envelope. I believe I got one that is supposed to be a carousel inside. On the front you have like a nice little bouquet of roses. So maybe I got the bouquet of roses. I was going back and forth with the carousel and the roses. I think that this is the roses. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Aww. That's actually really pretty. I like it a lot. Oh wait, there's something over here. Ooh, what is that? Blank piece of paper. Maybe you write your message in here. I kind of like this actually. If you're doing this and you're spending this much money on this card, maybe you don't want to ruin the card. So maybe you write your message on here and then it just slips right inside of here. I actually kind of like that, especially somebody who has OCD like myself. If I messed up the writing on here, I would kind of get like really upset and then want to throw the card away. This is a nice way to keep your writing organized but still have a nice little area to display the 3D image. And this is actually really cool. Just folds, open, folds, open. I'm digging it. Two items left to test out in this video. The second to last item that I will be testing out is the Egg Amazing Egg Decorator. I was blown away when I saw this on Shark Tank as somebody who is in love with arts and crafts. This is right up my alley. It has no messy dyes and you're able to create colorful and unique designs on your Easter eggs. Basically, what you're supposed to do is take a hard boiled egg, put it right inside of this contraption, Press a button, it starts spinning the eggs. I really, really hope that you don't need batteries because I don't have batteries. Meh. Requires four AA batteries that are not included. Dang it! I might be able to take some batteries out of some controller, so no worries. Anyways, like I was saying, you put the hard boiled egg in here, you press a button, it starts spinning the egg, you take a marker and you basically just touch the egg and as it spins, it creates this awesome, awesome design. I'm so excited about it. Stop talking, Allison. Let's start testing. So along with getting the egg amazing, we are also getting eight markers to use. So we're just gonna put our egg right in the center, turn it on, starting to spin, and I'm just gonna drop a marker, <laughs> put a marker right on the egg. Whoa. Cool. That's really cool. Ah, look at that, that's so cool. Oh my god, I love it. Whoa, that's so cool. I like it. Oh, this is awesome. Very therapeutic, to be honest with you.
Alright, for the grand reveal. Three, two, one. Whoa. That's really cool. Oh my god, I love it. So the egg mazing is freaking phenomenal. Look at this egg, it is beautiful. In the previous clip I was using brown eggs and then I decided to switch over to white eggs because I thought that the colors would be a lot more vibrant and I was absolutely correct. Like look at this egg, it is so pretty and it only took maybe 60 seconds to do. So this is one of the eggs that I made, super, super impressed. Here is another one, I just basically used a bunch of the different colors and I kind of made like a pastel Easter egg looking Easter egg if that makes any sense. I kind of went for more Easter colors and it's just so 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 pretty. And then the last egg that I made, I put it in my pocket but don't worry it is hard boiled. I just decided to drag all of the markers across the actual device and I got this really cool design. If it would focus that would be fabulous. There we go. So fun. Fail, ultimate fail. The very final product that I'm going to be testing out in this video is the Sleep Styler, but it is going to have to wait a couple of days because I am just now noticing that I made a mistake when I purchased this off of Amazon. I purchased the Mini for short or fine here. And if you guys can tell, I don't have short here and I actually have very, very thick here. So this, this isn't really going to work very well for me. I'm actually going to keep these and maybe test a couple of strands of my hair with these mini rollers, but I need to go back on Amazon right now, order the right ones and then wait for them to come in. Luckily I have Prime, so those should be in within like two days and then I will test them out. When I get them in at nighttime, I will wash my hair. I will wrap them up on camera, show you how to use them, show you how easy they are or hard that they are to put in. I will sleep on them, wake up the next day, take them out and then let you know the results and my final thoughts. Okay, it has been a couple of days. I got the larger sized sleep styler in the mail and I also have these mini ones right here. I put both of them in my hair so far, the larger ones and the smaller ones. And I'm going to be honest with you, I actually kind of prefer these, but I'm going to use both of them in my hair, sleep on them and then see how they both look in the morning. And then I'll get to make my decision which one I actually really like more, if any. So now I am just going to part my hair and put both of these last ones in. I kind of like using both of them because I feel like it's going to give my hair a much nicer textured look. But again, this is all just kind of prediction right now. I don't know how these are really going to work. These are actually pretty easy to put in. It did take a little bit of getting used to. I'm just putting it at the crown of my head and then I am wrapping the hair around it away from my face. And I'm just putting them nice and tight and I'm taking this little string doodad or whatever you want to call it. This is kind of the difficult part. It is wrapping it all the way around the hair. And then securing it tightly with the Velcro. So that one is in, I don't know, didn't like go as well, but we'll make it work. There we go, ready? All right, it's fine. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this last little section of hair over here and I'm going to use the little mini one. This one again is a lot smaller. I'm just gonna take it, wrap it around, wrap it really close to the crown of my head, and then take the Velcro piece and just wrap it tightly underneath. The only thing I will say, the Velcro gets caught in your hair, so all of my other hair is just getting like continuously caught in the Velcro. And now I'm just going to drop it down and voila. <laughs> Good morning, it is very early. I have to get myself ready for work. Let's get these things out of my hair.
So this is where we're at right now. First and foremost, they were very, very uncomfortable to sleep in. No matter how many times I switched my position, they were just very, very uncomfortable. But with that being said, they're not terrible. They're definitely not the worst overnight heatless curls I've ever tried before. They're definitely not like glamorous by any means, but they're definitely something to work with for sure. I feel like I need to like zhuzh it up a little bit, add some volume, add some product to make it last throughout the day. But overall, I'm not very disappointed. They're pretty okay. They're not great, they're not terrible. I would say that they are pretty okay. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys.